that's can I change that? Uh, do not disable audio when we lose focus. That is not looking like it's going to be an option. That feels like it's very loud. It could be just me. Um, let me know if the volume is the game is too loud relative to the microphone. Uh, okay. Um, but it did say, hey, yo, use a controller. So, controller time. All right, we'll give people a chance to get here for just a minute uh, because a lot of people requested this. So for those who aren't aware, on the Discord, we have had a poll going on. I have my moderator computers on the wrong thing. I'll deal with that in a second. We've had a poll going on that's basically saying, hey, here's a whole bunch of games that people have requested over the time. Let's just have a vote to see who wants to see what. Um, and Stray tied for first the last I looked at it um, with Stardew Valley. Um, after that was RimWorld, and then I don't remember what was after that. I'm actually going to pull it up real fast on my phone, because I don't want to alt-tab on the game, because apparently that kills the audio and I can't change it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so currently, number 8 is winning, which is Stardew Valley, has the highest votes. And then Stray actually, Stray has just taken the lead entirely, then we have Stardew Valley, then I believe that was Rimworld. Yes, it is. Uh, and after Rimworld is Aquatico. And then there's a bunch after that. Um, the only downside with Aquatico is that's not one I'm going to be able to stream in the immediate future. It doesn't drop till I think it's like January 12th or something like that. But um, it's one I've already been looking at. You kind of, it's a city builder, but it's like Lost City, Atlantis City, so city in the bottom of the ocean. All right, let me fix my mod computer and we'll get things started. Okay, so that should get itself sorted here in just two seconds. All right. So as I mentioned, um, I this is my first playthrough of Stray. I have deliberately kept myself mostly blind to it. Like you've seen a short snippet of the beginning, like three, four times, uh, but when it comes to, like, actually getting into, like, the depths of the game, obviously I've not done it myself, um, and I haven't seen that. I saw, like, a little glimpse of, like, near the end of the game, I think it was on Chaotic Awesome stream, um, but I haven't, I haven't, was it Chaotic Awesome? I'm not sure about that one, uh, but I haven't, like, I don't know the, the gist of it. Okay. Now, the idea, the thing that people love is this really depicts, like, it scratches all your, your cat itches kind of thing. Like, much cat. It's a gorgeous game. Alright, so cat can cruise. No, oh, and I turned off the motion blur because when I when I first pulled up the game it's like motion blur all of it. No. Interesting that they, um. Oh, I guess my interactions are done with them. I was about to say, it's like, it's interesting thing that they reposition, but I'm like, oh, basically you can interact with the other cats and then they go to, like, a neutral state. Alright. Aw, oh, okay, just getting all the wubbies. I say I'm taking the hint that I go to sleep here.
Now, it's truly an accurate depiction of cats. We're gonna we're gonna murder all life we see, right? Like we see like mice and birds and butterflies, and we will we will kill it all. And he's like, kitty. Yeah, a real cat. That butterfly is so dead. I got the wrong chat window thing up, so it's not showing the emotes. I'll have to fix that here in a minute. I don't want to interrupt the audio on the uh, cinematic. Inside the wall. Alright, we got strange lettering. Like, I am aware there's a robot world that we're going to go into. Because like I said, I, I've seen the intro a couple of times, and that's about the depth I've seen. Like, I also know that the cat gets like a ridiculous backpack, but I don't know how we get it. I assume a robot gives it to us. Alright, so as soon as the cinematic's over, I'm going to take two seconds to fix my chat. Alright, we're panning in, which means I'm going to get control of the cat. Okay, give me two seconds to fix this. Oh, which is just me, us going. Play audio, please. Me, us going. Settings. Channel. Manager. Chat. Pop out chat. And chat is fixed. Cool. Sorry about that. Okay, so we don't have direct interactions with the other cats. And with all games that have anything that you can find, step one is the direction that it obviously wants you to go to turn around and go the opposite direction. Okay, it doesn't look like I actually have anything here. Just a meow button. So we can scratch the living daylights out of things. Best thing is going up at NPCs and meowing at them. I can imagine that would be fun. Alright, we're drinking rainwater. Excellent.
It's making me grow attached to the fondness of the other cats, just in time for the inevitable separation that hurts a soul. That's pretty solid control. You're not going to find anything to eat, kitties, if you're just running around meowing everywhere. Gotcha. Yeah, and, um, like I said, the, um... I mentioned earlier that I've seen the intro, and that's about as far. But um, as Pancro's setting is, our kitty, our kitty is gonna get an owie. Nothing, nothing horrific, but our kitty's gonna get an owie. So you know, it might make you sad. I play this mod so I look like one of my cats, Monroe, Tuxedo Boy. Oh no, close and cinematic. I think our cats are like, just long live the king. Kitty got an owie. Yeah, and the end of this tunnel is kind of like as far from the beginning as I've really seen. So that... And now I play as a cat going... Owie. My little paw. Yeah, the, uh, the thing that I found weird, and I, I understand why they did it. It's like, your cat's obviously hurt. Um, and it, like, limps along and then, like, only gets a couple steps and collapses. You know, obviously very seriously hurt. Like, you know, really, really hurt his, like, leg or whatever. And then the one scene later, it's like, nope, I'm good. Like, I just had myself a little bit of a nap. Give it a little licky lick, and we are good to go. Just gonna sleep it off? I guess. Catnap healing powers. Alright, we'll just go through the door then. Uh, there's so much visual storytelling in this. Yeah. I noticed the wrecked bike over there. Well, the wrecked bike's everywhere. Yay, dead city. That invokes happy feelings. When someone refers to something as dead, that's always a good sign. Climbing these? No. Okay.
Have you used the mail button? Yes. Yes, I have. Now I just need to find the swipe at things for no reason button. Back security camera off the table. Yeah. Oh, they've got the don't land on this white eggs. The person who owns this place is a jerk. Those little, those little spike things that are on that fan, those are to keep birds from landing on them. In this purpose, though, they use it as a means of preventing me from, like, as the cat jumping on them. Okay, I don't really see means getting up there. Bucket has solid inside, cannot get in bucket. sure we've seen a sign like that in horror games the flickering sign that says follow me we learned anything for horror games you do not follow the sign that says follow me okay I I has a bucket I just saw a dot and I could grab it, so I want to grab it. Ah, there. That's the proper cat treatment. It's a flat surface. Nothing may be permitted to stay. I spent a lot of time in this game pushing over everything I could. This still is just sort of some. Yeah, I figured as much that they're introducing you stuff.
That's right. Forget your carpet, man. No carpet for you. Excellent. We have we have properly shredded that carpet. Oh, wait, we missed one. I think there's an achievement for scratching everything that's scratchable. Of course there is. Can you charm your claws on the couches and chairs? Um, I didn't see a place on that last one that I could scratch up. In other games, that's where you'd have to find the hammer to, to sort it out. Okay. Excellent. We've killed it. Our first victim. It's mostly softened up already for us, so it wasn't it wasn't much of a conquest, but as a cat, that means nothing. Okay. Oh, that's not what I want. Cat's like Cat's like, I'm brave. Did they just Ah, excellent. We were consumed by those. This is why you don't follow sketchy signs that say follow me. That's precisely why you never follow a sketchy sign that says follow me. That's what happens.
absolutely gorgeous game. I'm also glad this is one of those games where, wait a second, hang on. Get out of here. I'm also glad this is one of those games where they like decided to make it a bunch of skill checks with everything where you go to jump there and you have to like time it and all that. Uh, they rotated. They did a good job. They rotated. Um, they rotated as my desktop wallpapers for so long. Ah, gotcha. Sorry. I assume that's, yeah, that's to make it a one way. They had nice things, so he couldn't permit it. the plank over. I guess I'm supposed to roll the barrel? Oh, I have to be inside it. Okay. I'm glad the camera person has a, uh, a good idea of the capabilities of this cat, like how far it can jump and everything. It would be most unfortunate, it was like, follow me, and then just trap the cat in some area it couldn't get out of. It's like, not again, stop it. Why are there all these boards, like, you know, making the gap? Like, how, how does that make sense in this world? Like, it's just level design so you can get through there, but it's like, what is, what is the logical reason in-universe that they just have random... This is a world of OSHA violations. Yes.
Okay. I mean, I only took it because I could. I guess just jump right to it. I want, I want my relay back. Why did you take my relay? Why can I not scratch the bed? Busy. I guess it just tries to have some type of, um, has like detection for where you're writing on it. So I'm sure someone figured out how to like write the word, like write a word hello or something like that in there. Is the door. I need I need to scratch. Are these supposed to be batteries? They look like relays. It was important it had to be done. I have to for science chat. Okay. So the cat automatically dives out of the way. packs back? still fine.
He didn't he didn't need a head, it's okay. Alright. It's a moving thing, so now it's time for the cat to attack it. Oh, and it's hovering. It is so dead. Hey, but how's it going? Again, where's my swipe button? There you go, that's the one. Just Hassan to come see Stray? It worked. I'm free. Thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. I'm... I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city. You seem to know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get it that for you. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. Uh, you've got to put this on. This conveniently cat-shaped backpack thing. <laughs> really, if this cat is, like, rubbing this on every bit of furniture and... Like, biting at it and everything. This backpack is designed for small quadrupeds like you. How convenient. Is it uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key to store it in your backpack. Okay. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or others, if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Hey, I want you to go and examine your dead body if you don't mind. It is written, I hope this will work. Hey, this is you, man. Uh, your head wasn't attached when I got here. Alright? Don't question it. Here's the important question. Now that they're no longer, uh... Aw. No more nodding heads. Oh, it's that time. I'm in the other carpets ready for attack. It is an engineering degree. It belonged to the scientist I worked for. That's the carpet we already shredded. It's interesting that it would have me select what item to use. A pro tip, jump on the books if you want to get good cat feels. Jump on the book. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
How much did I miss? Um, we've got a weird backpack thingy. We've uh been separated from her family. Our cat was very upset about the backpack when he first got it. Okay, we have a giant floating fast no light. Oh darn. Seven four eight. Ah, oh, we don't track paint. I'm disappointed by that. <laughs> All right, I forgot. It was a three seven four eight. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Cool. How do you know this? No paint track. Rage quest. I know, right? Forget all this gorgeous world and all of this going on. The lack of paint tracks just undoes it. So all those glowing yellowish orange orbs were big awful bug things that jumped on my back and murdered me. So we want to stay away from those. Wait, I remember the outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? Um, mine is a lot more concrete and overgrown, but yeah, basically the same thing. I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? This postcard. The mural was painted from it. Let's take a look. Cool. Why do I have these memories? Where did I get them? Where did they get here? Let's keep going. Ah, so collectibles. People told... Can I not knock this paint bucket over? What's even the point of our lives if we can't knock over the paint buckets? <laughs> I love that they have everywhere. They have the, the like, little pokey bits to keep birds off. Like, that's the way... Like, And for the record, that's actually a clever thing, because that's the game telling you this is a surface you cannot be on, very explicitly. Um, Portal does the same thing, where they have different coloring for different types of stuff to, like, signify whether it's useful or not. Safe zone. Ah, 
That's not what I wanted. Okay, that's not safe. I know what I want to do. I want to jump up on that awning. Or that works too. The slums. Run. That's right, the cat is in town. We're an invasive species. We'll kill everything. That's just like a Dark Souls boss. Oh, we used our demon eyes. Ah oh, yes, I understood that. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. I make no promises, I am a cat. The betrayal would be inevitable. They're a wee bit, uh, wee bit skittish. I mean, it's fair. They have the orange bulb things that attack each other. I got achievement a little chatty. I'm just noticing we meow and all... Wait. Sir. Sir, do you want to give me that face again? Where's, where's my claws? You, sir, will die. Here. I've taken your head off before. I will do it again. You look lost. What do you need? Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high in that building with the orange neon sign. Don't hesitate to call me. I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up at the big building. That's not actually, I mean, I guess sort of. The orange neon sign. Um, he'll only leave, he's the only leave we got for getting out of here. We've only talked to one person. There's no part, wait. Oh yeah, oh never mind. I thought I was gonna claw it.
And none of them were like, hey, stop it. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. Oh, very pretty. You really thought you'd take the elevator? i never seen that thing work. And I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Such a beautiful dream. What a shame it's just a dream. Why go up there? There's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Well, even though when I meow, you give me a mad face, which makes me immediately want to betray you. You also gave me the most actionable information, so... We'll call it even. Um... Um, huh? Please don't interrupt my meditation with strange Im images. Our ancestors can distinguish these colors it is said once dominated the world. So so green. Oh, is this couch about to die? I guess not. We're not a real cat. If we were a real cat, the arm of that couch would be forfeit. For the sharpening of our claws. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. You come across fake pictures like this sometimes, all talking about outside. Beautiful dream, I guess. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. If you give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's simple as that. This ancient relic is a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It would cost three energy drink hands. I can't do less. Nope, I won't accept that. Marketplace. This is a sector set of electrical cable, the best in the market. I'll exchange it for a super spirit detergent that's the best I can do. This is a music seat, a masterful piece for the art of a very renowned artist. It'll cost you one energy drink can, I can't do less. Oh yeah, come on, get it all off of here. Nothing nice will be permitted to survive. I said, man, I mean to get this in our playthrough. So cozy. Oh no. What have I done? Let me let me go. Please. I just I just gonna rub on your leg. Please. Let me let me free. There we go. Okay. Okay. We were just having a lot of difficulty. Cat, cats aren't used to showing that kind of love. Why does he keep showing me his hand to something I can climb on? How oh, some... All the weird stuff that happens to you may... 
I don't dare leave the village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open this door. It's a pretty picture. Fake, but pretty. Uh, I left it in the streets the next day and the Zerks consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Another picture of the outside? Get out of here with that stuff. It's all nonsense. Uh, Barter Man, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. You want something? You're one of those outsiders like Momo. Well, good luck with that. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? Ah, blue sky. That'd be so weird. Which part are you at right now? We just started. Um, I've only been playing for a little bit over an hour, but pretty much just got here. Grandma clothing. I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scars. It's something to do. If you bring me some electrical cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me. But it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Okay. So I need to get her the electric cables from the market to get a poncho. Which I assume I will need for some reason. Or it'll be just nice to have. First bucket. It's okay. You can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks. Okay, so we got an energy drink out of it. Remember? Rip humans. Love. Um. <laughs> wait. Depending on the, uh, the canes of how you would say that, it could be very different. It could be rip humans as, like, a fond memory of humans, or rip humans like they're happy about it. Humans are the first residents around here. It seemed like they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break the mood. Let's move on. You broke the mood. You happy about it? They're all having a good time. Then you had to go and get like existential crisis about it.
Whoa, hey, don't don't hover over me. He doesn't want to talk. Announce it. I'm looking for sheet music uh, to add to ambience. If you find any, bring it back to me. I live near the elevator. Uh, Morsque. Morsque? I don't know how you pronounce that. Morsk. Let's we'll go with Morsk. I'll forget what I said I was going to go with like five seconds ago. Alright, and that's just directions. Cool, cool. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Outside? Momo told me he'd get me there one day. I heard the barter man is looking for that kind of stuff. Screw that pot. Ah, yes. I've started an argument between neighbors. We have been victorious. Oops. Alright, you won't let me show you the picture? Not again. Oh, I want to knock them all down. There's so many. Why can't I knock down all the paint? So I can't climb up there. It's never going to work again. Never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, what do you want? Picture of the outside? Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone, and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but the... Transceiver doesn't work. My friend and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. 
You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems sad. He misses his friends. Let me check that notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. Signed, Clementine, Zabaltzar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. <laughs> we must go outside at all costs. Everyone is forfeit. Outsiders. Oh, you tell me they're going to have some carpet to destroy? Looking forward to destroying some carpet. The city has a cylindrical shape that is 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, the blue sky is hidden behind. Oh, Back Home 2. I remember this video game. It was made after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss it. Why can't I remember his name? Sir, if you, um, if you leave, this is, sir, you don't just leave your fridge open like this. Like, this is, you want to know why this place looks like crap? Man, hey, hey, Momo. You want to know why this whole place looks like a dump? Let me show you. That. That is why this place looks like a dump. You don't care about your environment. Now I'm going to cool your drinks properly. I'm going to knock over your books and you're going to live with that. You want to live in a dump here? I'll help. There. I mean, I was going to do it regardless of the status, but now I feel justified in my actions. Wait a second. Can I, can I like, poke this with my face? Nope. All right, it's a little bit too basic. Come on. Try something else. Um... All right, I guess we're stuck with it. Oh no, I can't control my cat. Save me. I've made a great, terrible mistake. Like, you can't show you, but like holding straight up. This is me holding straight up. There you go. That's, that's a pretty cute effect. Yeah. This is what you get. Um Okay. What does that say? I want to turn. 
So I don't know what the text means, but there's something that's about 923 with 8801. So... I don't know if that means anything for us later. You gotta really, really get those Claramux into stuff. Make sure people know, know what I'm about. The symbol on the wall matches the one in the notebook. Oh. Seems like a lead. And this is like the symbol for outside or the symbol for something like very generic. Oh, do we fully explore this way? So it looks like you want to go to the other side of the street. That's just the way down. Ventilation power system. I don't know why I wanted to turn off the ventilation, but we did. that in a moment. Let's check out the rest of this place before we go anywhere. Oh. I thought that was going to do something. An outsider notebook. Uh, it's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltzer. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city isn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay, so that takes me right back up here. There's a bucket to get across. I think we've been... Oh, wait. Do we stay up here and explore? The, let's, let's check down here. You can see multiple interactable things down below, so I'm curious to see what they are. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art was important in desperate situations. These certainly are desperate times.
I think the outsiders seem to live in the upper flats. We won't find anything in the narrow streets. Says you, I'm gonna get myself an energy drink. Musician, but I don't have any songs. Oh. Wait, we'll see. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. So do you just keep playing or do you hit the end and then more dialogue? Oh, thank you for that music. I will practice. Do you think you can find more? This game is so stinking cute. It is. I take care of the plants. The humans improved them so much, now they require very little light. Just add a bit of water, and look how big these things get. Really amazing technology. Did I already trash this one? I don't remember if I did. Properly trashed. Score a goal with the ball? Uh... Oh. Okay. There was an achievement. Hello again. What do you want? This said electric okay, is the best in the market. I'll exchange it for super detergent. I don't have that. Ancient Rook, testament of the talent of our ancestors. With cost you three energy drinks, can't do less. Yep. Here you go. Let's go get the sheet music back to our friend over here. Um, then I believe we need to get back on the roofs to keep looking for the out uh, outsiders. Well, thank you for the music. I'll practice. Thank you the follow. Uh, Beyonce, welcome, or Lance, welcome to the stream. You have more? I happen to have more. The way you can compute tonight. Oh, that's a nice one. Hear me out. I have a drink real fast unless this is going on. In my head canon, she's just playing the song in her, um, like, off of her speaker. 
And like, this music instrument doesn't do anything. Because those high, high pitched plunks are definitely not coming out of this thing. <laughs> It's like the electric cars where they put the sound of an engine playing on speakers for them. Oh, thank you for that music. I will practice. You think you can find more? I assume when we find enough of them, she'll give us something special. Wait, what are you? Oh no. Not this again. I think I sort of got what the controls are with the paper bag on your head. It definitely does not play smoothly. Can I still- oh, never mind. I was like, can I still talk to you with that thing on my head? It looks like this poor guy also wanted to get to the top, upper level. Yeah, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up. Apparently, robots also copy this behavior. Is that all there was up here? No other way I can go. Nope, that'd be it. right come into your house and I break your stuff that's what I do I'm a cat hey it's like typical cat yep Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went out. They are in a place called Midtown. Apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. I want to I wanna push the buttons. You won't let me destroy anything else in your home? What fun is that? I get to smash some pots. What that sounds at the door? It's probably nothing. You dare ignore the cat. No one ignores the cat. Maybe. 
This side? Or maybe I can't go up there. Oh good, all the stuff we knocked over and trashed stays knocked over and trashed. Perfect. Oh, right. Oh, I was thought we were going to claw up the bed, not use it. It's very convenient that we can just get machines to spit out stuff for us. Ah, uh, there we go, our first victim of a couch. Been too long coming. Gonna get a little a couple extra seconds in on this one. Not really, really make sure we dig in on the back of this couch. There we go. destroy everything with our claws. Alright, so I got achievement catapult. Hello there. Hey Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Hey, hey Zombos. How's it going? It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. Can I, can I, nope. Cannot turn on that radio. Oh, that is, that is very unpleasant. Um, I would like to claw that very specifically into an unrecognizable state. develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human volume 42 uh, what music platform uh, are you using on stream I'm not using one right now it's the game but I use pretzel most of the time up oh, little cubby hole And the reason I use pretzel is because it's DMCA safe music. trying to do is they mention hiding the safe behind a bunch of um how do you keep pretzel from becoming a repetitive mess 
Um, it kind of depends on what music you're listening to. Some of the different uh, playlists have a lot of music, and then some of them don't. Uh, so, like, I use the lo-fi one for the most of the time. Um, and the lo-fi one has, what was it, like 400-something hours of music or something like that? Um, versus I chose something like, I like Electro Swing, but the problem is it's only got, like, 40 hours. Yeah, you're missing row. Uh, do you subscribe or use the free one? I subscribe because if you do the free one, you need to have the bot in your channel announcing every single time a song starts. Um, and that can be, you know, pretty tedious. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might need to test it. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found the design flaw of the transceiver but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. We can communicate with the upper levels. That could be our way up. Let's show him what we have found. And for the record, anyone who uses Pretzel is like, oh, well, I can just ban or mute the bot. Um, they will suspend you on Pretzel for doing that. Cause like it's a whole thing, like you know, they're seeing artists actually get paid and all that, and allowing you to do so for free. Like, there's just the terms, like make sure you honor them, kind of thing. You don't react to my meows. I don't like you. Oh hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to tell you, but I won't, because I don't understand why. Well, you know what I feel compelled to do? Wreck your couch. Yeah, that's right. an interesting consideration being able to potentially jump out as it lowers do you like little you do look like a zerk from far away at least they look and sound cute but don't be fooled those things can chew through metal. They're terrifying. You want something? You're new around here. What can I do for you? You already know where this is going. 
They all have their pockets. They need to go in them. Precision movement of the cat for purpose of knocking pool balls in is just not there. And I see the sheet music back there, but I'm, I've got a more important thing I need to do right now. Alright, that should be a cheat, but I don't care what the game says. Oh, that's why. Well, do they really consume this? The original design didn't have the digestive system. Made it somehow evolved mimicking humans? Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful to their ways. I was just about to say, it's like, I don't understand how that would work. This is a newspaper from the people living above, on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Man, no need to get mad at me. They made ram potion soup? Yep. Jacob, Employee of the Month, September XX27. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Ah, uh, yes. Theft. scratch or destroy anything in here okay so we've already been that way So if yesterday is tomorrow, let's see. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday too, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestor. We're all trapped here forever. Cool. Uh, 
bucket is so bugged. All right, so I need the cables before I can worry about that. We already talked to you. That's a door that only the Guardian can open. They've got the Guardian. Got this person down here. Hi again. What do you want now? The electric cable. Super detergent, whatever. Here you go. An ancient rogue testament to the past. All right, let's see. Nope, it's not enough. All right, so I gotta find another one. We can run down here. Dang the music! I'll practice. Do you think you can find more? Better believe it. The Ballad of the Lonely Robot. I think I can play this. Look! Okay, Kenneth sees no reason to go into the future. This is paradise. Just enjoying the music, getting the snooze on. I have to wait for her to finish the song before I, before I can give him the next song. There is no way a cat would put up with wearing this backpack thing with that strap around its neck. The cat like lay there just kind of scratching at it. I wish they'd given a way to customize the kitty's color a bit. My tiger is a bit more gray. Yeah, there was, um, there, apparently there's mods to change it. So you make your cat look differently. Mildly important information. This one is composed by an renowned algorithm. Short and to the point, I guess. Name of the music. I'll practice. Can you find more? I think that was up. Oh, no, I had one more. Tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. Yep, very clearly, she's just playing it through her speaker. Because those fingers, not moving with the notes. Like, she's doing it for the strumming part, but the melody she's not actually playing. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm done with you. Take safe, mysterious password. Oh no, it's not lazy programmers. I think it'd be more fun if that is actually what's... Oh, um... It's written, follow the numbers, but it looks like binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. That's fine. We must decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to the safe. Give me give me the zeros and the ones. Binary is not that hard to read. Okay, or not. Access to sewers is condemned because of proliferation of Zerks. Stay safe, stay in the safe zone. At least Cosma is making use of the deter all the detergent. Right, let's get back up to the roof. We need to go visit Momo, which I believe, yeah, it's up there. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? That was Barnes' notebook, right? I never quite understand what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Oh, you found Clementine's notes? She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I've ever known. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? That's incredible. That means we should be able to communicate with outside the slums. Clementine, Sensor, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. I might be able to find you a way up. Let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Et voila! It works! Come with me. Up there, see that building? High above the others? Momo and his moo moo, gotta love him. Yep. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. You're going to make me do the dangerous part? Alright. I have one counter proposition, Momo. Close your freaking fridge. You're killing the planet. But first, it has to be done. Uh, did that just go to the abyss? There. 
We broke one. Or do you have 20 sharp claws? All right, it's time for scary murder bug things. I assume. That's not a nerve ring at all. I see that world storytelling Peg was talking about. Uh, cause clearly that person's trying to get away, started to climb the ladder, and, um... Was unsuccessful in completing that climb. I do understand I'm supposed to draw them to me and then run across the bar there. This one looks like there's anything obvious we need. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always that way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs, all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and, not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights up in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for the people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Alright, so I thought I was going to climb up there. not what I wanted. Well, that's not deeply upsetting at all. Yep, I hate that. I don't... I don't want to hack the door again. Nope, 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 nope. I see what happens here.
I don't know why there's a weird two-door security booth in the top of the building, but I mean, sure. Well, that looks unpleasant. Just be thankful you don't have to balance the game. Oh yeah, that was, I was mentioning earlier, it's like, I'm glad they don't skill check you on all your jumps. Because it would be a way they could slow down the game. That would just be frustrating. I'm still waiting for what's going to drop us in with the Zerks. They have to make an absolute dash for it. Okay, so. It looks like the way I want to get across is way over there on that corner, potentially. Oh geez, we're always playing the sad game. No, nah, it's a happy game. We claw up furniture. Hi, big horde of murder, murder ball things. All right, so how do I deal with you? Because clearly I got to roll the barrel over there. Um, and if I jump down, try and go for the barrel, they're just going to pile on me and commit mass violence. Oh, did they just lose track of me? That is not what I- oh, I see. I climb on you now. And then up here. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I haven't been around as much. Uh, been lurking when I can, but also finally getting to spend lots of time with my partner and their kiddo. Awesome. Don't- don't need to apologize. Like, it's it's the thing I mentioned previously where, you know, people will come and go. That's not even, it's not even, like, a matter of, you know, if they like your content or anything like that. It just happens. Life situations change, all that. How dare you, Avalife? How dare you consider your partner? I thought we had something rhetorical. I'm teasing. <laughs> Oh, that's not what you want.
Another thing I'm thankful of, there isn't a stamina bar. We did roll, we did have something. It's gone now. <laughs> no. I hated this tower so much, I got eight a lot. Yeah, no, have have wonderful times with your partner. Like, don't worry about it. I do appreciate like when you can drop by and all that. But you can. Here, put the transceiver on this antenna. I died many times there, so I should feel awesome about doing it in one, because I think we didn't die there. I've only died once right at the beginning when I first ran into the Zerks. Royal Lance says, honestly, as great as it's been, the last few weeks with them have been rough between their health issues and mine. Ah, uh, that's no fun. I can, not with a partner, but I can empathize with that kind of stuff with what's going on with my, um, my father, but we don't need to dig into that. On my end, like, it is what it is. Pankro died many times game, as usual. The stray cat strut time. Look at that view. Beautiful from here. Uh, if you say so. I mean, the whole webbing stuff kind of killer. Remember now, the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights uh, marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But, if you can come from there, it must be not safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go out the outside, it was to open the city. I still understand why some of my memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now that my purpose, I have to open the city. Come on. Let's get back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. One second, it has to happen. Excellent. Perfect. Um. At least you can say that mentally and emotionally, I'm feeling so much better than I have in a very long time. Well, that's good. Um, sorry if it says, would you and chat mind give me a quick summary of what happened so far? Only tuned in like 30 minutes ago. Okay. So, Kitty was with Kitty family, and they're being cute and adorable and amazing, and it was like all the all the happy feels and vibes. And then we got uh, separated from her family. Uh, we fell down into the great abyss that is the city. Um, we want to get back out. Um, there was just a bunch of creepy signs that said, follow me, that flickered in and out like some type of horror movie. Um, and then ultimately, this robot thing, you know, we've befriended who wants to get out of, like, open up the city. Um, there are four groups that call themselves the Outsiders that are trying to get out as well. Um, and we are helping one of them. Also, our kitty get a big, got a big owie when they fell and then they got better. Um, and we have done this every opportunity we could. Because we feel like destroying everything that belongs to everyone.
Don't clean up where I've scratched your stuff. I'm marking it. It's mine. Oh, look. A note. <laughs> Sooner or later, there's going to be something under the carpet, right? Warm kitty, soft kitty, little bulfer. Oh, and we found music, and it was a jam. Little outsider, if you're reading this, it means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to, to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Ah, yes. Be careful, it's case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code of the window. Let's get near it. Here's like the code was. Hmm. It was an H, I think. Error wrong key. Whoops, my bad. Let's try again. Hmm. Or was it an O or was it a zero? Let's see. Success. It worked. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. You can tell O's and zeros because one of them is fatter than the other. But even better is get a font that puts a dash through the zero. You need to be broken. No one gets to have anything. All of it shall be destroyed. No, I'm trying to go down. Alright, so you were here. Hello, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. You want something? Let me see if I can get this thing working. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello. Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way down and... Wait, is that you, Zalzabar? Momo? I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Salzabar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes. We are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? Hey. Hello? Darn it. We've lost signal. I can't believe it. Salzabar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to get through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zelda ever made it, there must be a way. They never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. I once had a monitor that looked like that. I was... So... They, uh... If you didn't catch, they've made it so you can very easily spot this one character, Momo, that we're friends with. Because all the others have normal stuff. He has a floral jacket and, like, the big straw hat. But they even made his face to have rainbow colors across it. So that there was just many ways to differentiate him. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some type of new weapon to fight the Zerks. 
A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Uh, Samus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. Uh, he's just scared of... like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to get to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might still be a clue to Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. So it, it'll help you walk if I, if I maneuver between your legs constantly as you walk around, making you have to walk extra slow and stumble a whole lot as you do it. Um, that's not at all a thing a cat does all the time, just to, you know, absolutely cause chaos. Don't get an attitude to me. I mean, I'm responsible for it, but, like, you don't know that. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the Outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. You're gonna move this and let me through a hole in the wall? Here, take Doc's notebook, show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will help us act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and reestablish communication with the others. I tracked paint this time? Oh, wait, one second. What are you doing here? I told you. I told you. Getting through the sewers is suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, this is my papa's. Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? You're saying we tracked paint? No. No. Why have you locked me in here with this man? Uh thing. Destroy it all. Time will tell. There must be more to destroy. Is that some kind of clue? No, actually your dad is just punking you and just did that kind of stuff all the time. Time will tell. So there's lots of clocks. Um, they all are at about 16, but it's um, 2, 5, 1, 1. Don't pick the knock on the wall. I thought I tried and it didn't. Oh, there we go. That's two five one one.
I've seen this room. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints must have be for his Zurich weapon. Papa always was so secretive about his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but needed real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Observations. Cute. Cute sounds. I can't. How do, how do I scroll it up? Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time eat all kinds of materials. Total um, vision in the dark react to intense light. Let, let me... Let me out. Seamus, don't ever corner me like that again. I am a cat. I will claw every bit of your face. Robot news. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Find anything interesting in here? It's very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Hey. No need to be a jerk about it, man. Joe Tomomo, probably. Good chance. So we knocked over the box. I was really expecting something useful to come out of the box, but it did not. Alright, so he's clearly on a loop. Oh, this box up here. Yeah, translate the other whiteboard. Oh, I can actually. Deep flux blueprint. Concept. Um, Light-based handgun. Low priority. Visual appearance. Style. Um, decibel emitted. High priority. Test in real condition. Objective. 20 zerk destroyed per second. Find anything interesting in here? Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he was. I still can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I miss him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? Papa definitely took one with me. We just need to repair this tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slub should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. I'm glad we destroyed your apartment, man. It's good times. These are my favorite visits, are the ones where you destroy everything you own. You gotta fix that tracker. You're resourceful. Maybe you can find some of the slums to help. I'm really struggling to get back connection connection back. Did you find anything um, useful as famous? Uh, let's see. It's very old, Brightner code. A half 
here. Only a real geek could read this. Interesting device, but it looks broken. Maybe someone in the village can help repair it. Did you ask the barman? You're new around here. What can I do for you? So, Mr. Smith? Alright. That's not what we want. What a beautiful object. And rare, too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little... Well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There's signs all over his door. Okay. But first... Yeah, well... I would like the poncho, Grandma. That's not what I'm looking for, actually. My apologies. Thank you, dear. I'll get to work right away. Give me the poncho. Give me the poncho. It better be adorable. Give me a new item. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. This looks really warm, perfect for a cold robot. But but I want the poncho. Okay, so let's get back over here. There's Grandma. They said there's signs all over it. Elliot programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. And like a cat, I don't even introduce myself. I just run in. You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. We were programmed to be slaves, but since two... Um, let's figure out so we're at thousands. Uh, 2,544,875, sorry. 2,544,875,556 days. We have a soul. So one day the outsiders will find the exit to this hell. Momo. It's my music. You can't have it back. Why does everyone leave their fridges open? I mean, that fridge doesn't have a door, so I guess that's fair. Look, I'm a cat. I'm chaos. I'm making a mess with reason. You're all just being wasteful. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't eat it, but they take care of them anyways. It's what the humans would have wanted.
Oh, there we go. Scratch spot. There we go. Um. We'll not draw attention to it. Yes, can I help you? You want me to read this binary code? Uh, I just need to calibrate my lenses here. It means duffer bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous, rendezvous via binary code? Where do you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Thanks to Poncho. Please come see me if there's anything you need fixed. Okay, I'm assuming I was supposed to give him this and he'd be like, look man, you need to do me a solid. Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize the model. It's a Tohima BR-2000. You can track anyone with the little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. I just gotta give it an update, one more thing, and voila. There you go, little one. Uh, good luck finding who you're looking for. Okay. The Duffer Bar. I'm assuming somewhere in here we'll find the combination. But I actually, wait a second. There's a thing here. One, two, eight, three. Okay. Now I just gotta remember where that safe was. I remember someone is in some back corner. Why do we creep slowly when we go through here? It's not back here. Near the musician? I see. Did you manage to fix the tracker? You did it? You fixed it? Well done. Give it here. I feel like I should have waited to do that. Now we're going to advance the next area and then backtrack. It'll be a pain. We got a ping. Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where Papa went. I say, was I able to highlight that door? No, okay. I think the safe might have been right up here. Nope, not up there. It's fine. Then it's just one of these NPCs like 10 feet away. I was like, Papa, it's been years.
I'm assuming behind the door. That must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. And the others are just like, yeah, it's cool that you've just opened the door that leads directly to the things that can eat us that we're trying to hide this little, this little cubby hole for. Look at these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I need to backtrack later to go collect memories you missed. Yeah, I figured that's probably going to be a way. I'm not as fast as you. These Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. I'll open the door for you. I'm sorry, I can't go any far. I'm not as fast. The Zerks will get me. Please find him. Bring my father back. Later, Seamus. The ominousness of the music is concerning. I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so we gotta jump over here, then turn around and jump back, swinging it. Run, Raw Kitty. Run. It's fine. The Zerk aren't even a real threat. All right. Yeah, get wrecked, Zerk. Okay, that was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. You may not realize this, but I fall a lot. And I also break things a lot. These are pretty much my, my ammo rules. Kind of my thing.
Hey, Doc, how you doing, buddy? The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire a little cottage fishing all day long. Of course, that was not possible in the city. Nobody could have done that for at least 100 years. When we get outside, what if we find ourselves a little cottage and a harmless fishing rod and lots of books? I think that's what the science would, would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. As things about to get real again, because I feel like things are about to get real again. Ah, uh, yes. Just shove an energy drink in there. Hmm. It's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. It seems like the bad news side. I see that they've placed barbed wire to like really tell the player, hey, you can't climb. Don't even worry about it. You're not a Zurich. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish you get back home. I miss my son dearly. Uh, you can have a look at this house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Lovely. A bug with a smash. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. Uh, they were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh yeah, I remember right now. They were called children. The streets felt more alive than with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? No, it's just programming. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. 
At full charge, it can explode Zerg, like Zerg's like confetti. The baby uses 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is it won't start and the fuse blew. And with all the Zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I don't have those cat ears, send you cookie. Um, I'm not fast enough, but you might just be able to be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. I was busy shredding your office, man. Get some. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. If anything on generator will be loud, expect some zerg. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge um, and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow the cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. This'll be fine. All right, give me one moment, chat, before we start this. Okay. I thought I looked like Doc Brown. I think that is a nod. And he's like, I actually don't care if this cat makes as long as he gets the fuse in there. He's like, yes, I get to murder. Doc, I need you to aim at the bridge, Betty. Doc, the bridge. Doc, man. Forget this side. The bridge, Doc. Doc. Good enough, Doc. Oh, maybe not good enough, Doc. I regret this. You got the generator back on. Have you seen the power of the defluxer? Is it's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxer on your drone to your drone. It's like I have made this weapon, it's my only way out. What if I put it on you, the cat? Work. The deflexor is now installed in your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Again, he's like, I spent all this time creating this invention that could save our people by finally being able to take the fight to these things that eat us. Oh, never mind. Random cat has showed up. Let's just stick it on the random cat's drone. Cool. Okay. 
Take up the Zerk so we can get through. Wow, it's working great. But as expected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit if you when that happens. Um, I hope it will last until we reach the village. It's finally our time. It's finally time that we get to murder them. It's all we've ever wanted as a cat. The death of other creatures. Switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity was cut. There must be a way to open that door. Okay, so I've got to get up there. Can't climb on the railing. To move this barrel. And then move this barrel. That was close. Let's get back home. Now nah, it's fine, Doc. I was never in any real danger. You, on the other hand, almost died. Can do something to these. Let me through, Doc. For some reason, you were a solid object there. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerk. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. 
Doc and Samus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Alright, so. First. I found more music for you. Untitled. This tune has exactly 44 notes. Cat one scratch. Cat one scratch. Cat one scratch. Song fills cat with rage. Any of the music. I will practice. Don't. Don't practice that one. The only correct way to approach that song is to never play it again. Moa's waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted here? Because I'll close the door behind you. We don't want the Zerks coming through. Alright, so where is the oh, safe cycle like right here? I do not remember the code. Alright, time to go back to the bar. up here uh one two eight three we didn't go far wait a second i can scratch you please don't act like a child i'm not gonna hurt you That must be a really good song. One would hope that they locked into a safe. Alright. Unreadable sheet music. Hmm. It's not very readable, but I still think it can try. Much better than our last song. Well, thank you. I'll practice me. Can you find more? All right, so I know there's at least an energy drink to be found. Um, is there an easy way to... Is there an easy way to tell how much I got left? I know we got an energy drink to find here still. Probably memories. We don't necessarily need to do all of the, uh, the searching. Looks like a separate area I might be able to reach. I think we climb up over there.
I don't remember if we ever rode that one. Let's check that, um... That bucket. That's sort of the, like... Um, dead, knocked out, whatever robot on the roof. I don't think anything's up here. more people searching now. Look for the hidden gems this chest. Or from somewhere anywhere. Anyway. Okay, so what I know is that we have to inspect the thing we don't know what it is for three energy drinks and I've got two. probably actually talk to him. Hey, Teddy. Do you know my son, Jameis? It's thanks to him that I came back to this place. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy he's back. Look at all this great stuff falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should visit the bartend, uh, barter man. Got stuff over there. Alright, so we already hit that soda machine. Yeah, no, way this through here. And it won't search too long. Um, if we don't end up starting to find it, what I'll do is I'll move on. Because I'm sure the game allows you to backtrack in some way or another. Like, it might be I have to accomplish something to be able to backtrack, but... Alright, no sun machines in here. It says, I knocked every object off of every ledge in the game when I played this. I really wanted to get into character. Yeah, we have been knocking stuff over. I should have to jump to. There's anything there. It'd be interesting to be able to backtrack now. I've got like the big laser thing or big UV. Oh, actually, that's one way of dealing with it. Go to the areas I couldn't really explore before because I was being. Uh, just relentlessly assaulted by everything.
All right. Well, I think it's time to move on and search later. Because these are the kind of things that you can burn hours and hours and hours and hours looking and then not finding. So I'll check for the uh, collectibles at a later point. I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this, we can now go find uh, Zabaltzer. Let's go. It's still weird that he'd be like, yes, let's just ram this working device into your... Uh, into your drone that may or may not work. I think you're gonna finish this tonight. There's a good chance. Because I noticed that had what I'm assuming was the completion percentage on the last one said 40%. Um, if that is the indication, then I'm flying through this game. I was told it's probably only good for one and a half to two streams. Which is fine. That's true of most story-driven games, is that you can knock out the story relatively quick. This place is creepy. Where did you... Where did you... Are these supposed to be metal pipes? No, because they wouldn't float. Can't see way up in the gate. Can you look on the other side? Yes, I will put myself in danger. That you may. Those are much bigger. I don't like that. That was not the button I wanted. Okay, well, I answered that question. It's a lever behind there, so I guess I have to fight.
never seen this far out in the slums. With you here, I'm not even scared. Uh, you should be. Like, we're riding this whole thing by the, uh, the seat of our pants, man. We're using some tech that's never been properly tested, just shoved it into a drone that was never meant for it, and... You know, I'm a cat. You may have missed this point. I'm, I'm prepared to betray you at the moment's notice. If we get swarmed, I'm gone. You keep mumbling, you keep thinking you're trying to give me more dialogue. If this is a Dark Souls game, you're fighting a boss in here. Oh, and this water would totally give you toxin. Yeah, I'm in the wrong here. I suck. Hey, people. I keep waiting for someone to come tearing through the in the airport to escape, like, combined. That's like the 500 star songs. I mean, you redeemed it. All this old machinery is broken now. I think we have to manually open it. Oh, do I have to protect you? This seems like a place I have to protect you. Quick, uh, jump below the door. It won't hold for long. Yeah, I can't go on with you. But I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zalzbar uh, and Clementine, tell them I was brave. You're not a very smart man. I am your only way of being safe. So I know that's the way I'm supposed to go, but the fact that I can go this way through absolute murder and death tells me there's secrets. Kitty, don't lick your paws. Yeah. The sewer system. I remember. Clean water was scarce. The city supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, 
It was rationed out to sustain people during the times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint for the water tanks. They were huge and could contain whole building in them. Oh, I'm assuming the ones that are gray are showing like the one. Yeah, that's all the memories we have. We already have almost half the memories. Oh, so those robots didn't make it. Well, let's make great ideas. I I may have made mistakes here, chat. <laughs> I was like, let's aggro all of them and then just turn around and AoE the whole group down. And they were coming at different rates. It's like, oh, well, that's interesting. Um, okay, game. Oh, hi. Is there anything else in here to check out before we move on? Because that seems like the kind of place you'd hide a side path off of. Nope, I'm feeling pretty good about this. That's for a later exploration, me. Oh, so I can't go out in the gunk. Certainly interesting music. Bring it. Why can't I scratch you? I would like to scratch you. I would like to scratch the net the nightmare eyes, please. Scare me, nightmare eyes. Mm. 
Oh, I see. I can trigger those by using the UV light as well. Interesting. Okay. Watch there be an achievement for killing all of the Zerks. Like just systematically, you know, bursting all the egg things. Or an achievement for killing none of them, too. Oh, nope, not that way. achievement for not bursting any egg things? Of course there is. Oh, hey, wait a second. Alright, so it looks like you got to backtrack. I like the eyeball wall things. I feel like I should be allowed to claw those out. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a really big eye. Is this like a boss room? And B12 was like, we should leave. We should leave now. <laughs> Ziggy Ziggy. Zigzag. Why is the door closing? Hmm. 
It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The defluxer is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. But I want my weapon back. Why would they take away my weapon? A traveler from the sewers? We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Desbar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of the village. No reaction. Monster. Uh, did I miss something rhetorical asked? No spoilers? Yeah, we want to avoid spoilers. This is my first playthrough. Uh, this machine? The scientist assisted used one. I assisted used one. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. He is a scientist. Yup. Was it? It was me? Me? I was the scientist? I figured that was probably good. I was human. I need a moment. Oh, I'm assuming those top memories are like main storyline memories kind of things. I'm... I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. I see, so you're not going to let me talk to any of the people here until after I talk to the other one. That's a clever way of not having to have like three or four versions of the dialogue. I guess I can't take the flower right now. You know what I'm gonna do, buddy? I'm gonna wreck your wreck your couch. What else have I forgotten? I must have parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but was there even anyone left to save? Alright, I see you, you won't let me talk to anyone. the follow Dragonheart Wormkin. Welcome to the stream. That's a sleepy spot. I don't know if there's an achievement for using them all or whatever. I'm just going to do that.
That is why you're not allowed to have anything nice or otherwise in this world. Everything shall be ruined. What is this? Hey, don't you know it's not to interrupt the fellow during the uh, transcendental meditation? Transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received the call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. Oh, I didn't want to skip that dialogue. Oh well, I can't go back. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take th this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. Um, should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you'll be the very first. I wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now, look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe with my Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back at the same time. We can go back down to find out more from the companions, uh, or head to Midtown. So basically, I can take the time to backtrack lore, or I can just, um, move on. The soothing sound of trash falling, shimmer, green falls, no dangers. It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete shielding me in its womb, shall you also be my tomb? You think it's too solemn? Electric circuit everywhere. I don't know if I scratched this one yet. There we go. Corrected. Hello there. Um, it has been so long since we've had a visitor. Well, except the Zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power. Having them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. When I grow up, I want to be great like Aunt Clementine. I wanted to explore like uh, she did, but the grown-ups forbade me previously the Ad Village. Alright, so it does feel like there's going to be a lot of world-building kind of stuff. Maybe we just move forward. Are you going to play the end? Uh, I enjoy it? Yeah, I intend to finish the game. Um, I've been told that basically it should only take a stream or two. And I had planned for two streams for it, but um, a lot of people were saying, oh, at the speed you're moving, you're going to finish it this stream. Uh, okay. Hmm, statistically, I should have won at least eight times. Nine thousand five hundred thirty-six games, one to six. Don't tell anybody I'm actually programmed to, to win at this game. Did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage Brown. I think that's actually a color.
We go straight storylines pretty quick. So, yeah. So we got a flower. This language. The companion robots made it from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't remember when exactly, but one time all communications started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer alone for a long time. They translate every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I'm curious to hear how they have to s all they have to say. It's getting pretty later, like, late in the stack. Yeah, I work in construction. When people talk color, it's literally just codes and combinations that makes it. Yep. I used to uh, sell paint a long time ago. It wasn't, like, the main thing I did, but a company I worked at also had paint as well as everything else. Um. Oh, there's gotta be a way down there. And then down there there'll be memories. But, um, but yeah. Those paint machines never worked reliably. And people would be like, you can color match this, right? It's like, um, I can do my best. Have the color matching machine. It's completely unreliable. I'm not seeing a way to get down there. Yeah, what I might do is I might continue on with the story. Um, and then we'll circle back for some of the collectibles and all that. There is, but no spoilers. Yeah. You should go find Clementine. I hope nothing has happened to her. Climb to the top of her village. About to reach midtime. What now? I'm not interested in worldly possessions. Well, you don't need to be a jerk about it, man. I was going to show you a pretty flower I found. I was going to knock the bucket off. But... I love that you can just go around destroying everything. Hey, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us to grow special plants so we can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? I'm still missing some colors, though. I'm missing a yellow, a red, and a purple plant. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Oh, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. Uh, could you find the other one for me, please? This is not what I wanted. I don't know why I expected something else. People call me Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, Ramen J45 with my uh, secret ingredient. This food is actually horrible. 
but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I want to keep eating this trash. Way to be judgy. Alright, I see that'll drop me farther down. Is this... I'm gonna find, like, buckets that go farther down each time? Or we'll just go down here and... Nona is the only one who liked my poetry. I miss her. Hmm. Well, I intend on going up. Oh, there's another bucket. I'm assuming it'll be just like a bucket off the side that I overlooked. I'm this far down. Yep. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I was a bellbot many cycles ago, but I've been repurposed into a treasure hunter. Let's see, Hovercraft says, the first time I've seen the game, I always thought it was open world, but it's more guided. Yeah. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. Um, it can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I just found. Poor fellow. May he rest in peace. They stopped reacting to my cat meows. Early on, they did. Alright, it doesn't seem you can actually explore much down here. It's probably just to get that flower. So somewhere there's a yellow flower. That was the purple flower. We got the purple. We got the red. One thing we do is we run around here. Drop down. Checked by the entrance. Hey, the follow. Boobacraft123, welcome to the stream. Edward, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of the village. Alright, I kind of figured or hoped that they would just have it over there. The good news is it seems like once you notice the trees, like the flowers aren't exactly the most hidden thing ever. May that her in her deconstructivist period, those she says, I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of oh wait, I can't smell anything. How sad.
All right, let's go up a little farther. Okay, so there's a the yellow tree. Excellent. I've got your plants, friend. Like I said, if only someone could snatch up a yellow plant, a red plant, a purple plant for me. I'm not going to do it, but I certainly would like you to. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Thank you. Could you find me the other one, please? I love the color. Thanks, buddy. You found them all. Thank you so much. Here's a ward. Take my badge. It looks so good with you. Well, take care. See you, friend. He's just like fishing in some box next to her. It's like, ah, yeah, this, this, this random pin. Yeah, that's totally my badge. I'm bored. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned lots of cool stuff. Okay. Well, it was basically grab the three flowers. That was that was the only secret. Oh, I mean, there's probably memories there that we overlooked. Look at this subway station. It's completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning, after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside. But does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Uh, they're on vacation. Anyway, we're near Midtown. Let's find this Clementine. If we have a picture of her, we could show it uh, to some of the companions around here. Maybe the point is in the right direction. Yeah, those are those like the main memories on the top? That imply we've found most of the main memories and you know, we're wrapping up. I've also noticed we haven't seen any of the, um, the enemies in a while. Oh, I got an achievement cat's best friend. You wouldn't talk to me, so change your music. You have to live with that decision. There's so many books here. 
The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling almost like comfort. The book was like spending time with someone. Cool. Okay. Yeah, they said it was somewhat oppressive up here. I already told you five times, Yosh. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. Oh. It's a girl who's on the wanted screen, right? You should ask somebody else. I'm too busy with Yash to do that. Don't worry about the trash. Necro Corporation takes care of everything. Please state your identity. Cooperate or you will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Access to the lower level is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. I felt like there'd be a point to this place back here, like a hidden thing, but guess not. It might be later as we like advance the story, one of the people hides back there and we have to find our way back there. Yeah, get wrecked. Don't mess with the cat ever again. I got achievement catwalk. Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, the next day with my other arm too. Any, and then my body and so on. I did replace all my parts and upgrade my software. Will I be the same robot you're talking to now? No. What about the guy that helped us sewer? Is he left there? Yeah, he's he should be there. At Necrocorp, uh, we do all the work, or we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs, uh, where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, I mean, it has been a while since we've had news from them. Go picture that one. But hey, um, is this an address on the back? First symbol is a street, then there is the floor, then there's a door number. Should be easy to find. Alright, well with that, you just gave me plenty of information. Now he told us to find her outsider. The series symbols are in the back of pictures. 
Right. Um. So, for whatever those symbol, third floor, fifth one. Okay. This merchant crook uh, sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he pretends to not hear me every time I just try to confront him. If it wasn't for the sentinels on patrol, he'd end up as spare parts. Um. Two, four, five, eight. Did I not remember it correctly? Two, four, five, eight. All right, well, I guess it's not two, four, five, eight. I'm pretty sure he's like powered down. No spoilers, look at it again. Two four five eight. Um colon EDO EDOC. And just Alright, so it's not that, it's just checking to see if I misentered it. Uh, maybe one of the other ways. Any other ways with two, four, or five, seven? Yeah, two, four, five, eight. It's the EDOC means something because they bothered to include it. I don't know why. Maybe it's going to be um, two, eight, four, five. We'll try that. Nope. Now I was trying to rotate the letters based on alphabetical order. Hey, I'll go so. Two, four, five, eight. E, D, O, and a large case C. Um, graphically looking at this thing, I mean, it's playing numbers. Oh, eight, five, four, two. Yeah, try not to spoil, please. Is that is too much of just giving me the uh, give me the answer. I thought people said plays games are realistic. I never met a cat that needed a tiny robot's help to steal. We also haven't murdered that much. in the city below? I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages.
Okay, maybe that window opens later. I wonder if the robot, um, if the robots built mice like or cat the no, robot mice the cats to hunt. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver to the knee. Now it's closed. I see what you did there. You know this guy bum bums me out. He's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. Wait, you reacted? It's been a while since they've reacted. Isn't it so cool, right? So chill. I think nothing bad could happen to us. Whistles. Now is where we use our claws. walked near the elevator and I got yelled at by the sentinels. For years we've been told that the surface is uninhabitable. We just accept this fact, but why? You know what, my friend? Stay away from the sentinels. They're vicious. They got my body Pablo. He's in for 350 years, so be careful. Ma'am? What can I do for you, Knight Chef? Alright, so... There's entirely too many people to try and talk to- Oh, can I trip you? Trip. Trip. Yeah, no, no, no. We're not done here. Choosing violence this day. Uh, I guess you don't fall over. Okay. Go away. Shoot. Go away. Okay, so the implication was that, oh, I think that's the symbol we're looking for. Um, so if we pull up the card, and we examine it and turn it over. All right, so I believe we want to go up to the third floor in this area. Yep. Life is boring since the Sentinels put the cameras in our residence. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I give you one, but you have to do something for Jean Ma, Biko, and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. 
We don't like it at all. Can you get them off our backs? So what you're saying is you want me to go to those cameras and scratch the crap out of them. Look, man, I was going to do it anyways, just because, you know, down to the machine, and, and that includes you, but down to the machine. But now that I'm going to get something for it, I, I mean, I feel morally justified. That's the way we roll. Break it all. Oh, um, it was three dots. Yeah, so that's second floor. Sorry, I forgot where I put it. But let's play anyway. Um, I'll get to, I'll get in the cave. Let's go. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? I spent a whole week preparing this session. Oh. They're playing D&D, &D, and one of them's into it, and the other one's just kind of there. Sag. <laughs> that is not a well-built camera. Okay. Where is the third one? Maybe over here? No. Is it up higher? There you are. machine good job they don't have cameras watch the art cameras well done I didn't think you could do it here take your prize you've earned it nice Enjoy our song, you'll love it. <laughs> you don't have eyes, you have speakers for a head. And moves. Alright, so now I need to get to the third floor. I saw glowing things, I'm like, ooh, stuff. What are you exactly? A quadruped making cute sounds. I like the concept. Alright, I was gonna be all sassy to you, and then, then you then you brought it back in, buddy. Oh wait.
<laughs> okay. I thought you were sent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Wait. Was that where I finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How do you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way to get outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can follow me. You can help. Follow me. Ah, yes. I see. You've gone mad. Excellent. We'll make great companions. You point me at people who don't actually deserve any problems, and I will scratch at their ankles. And then maybe bite them. Maybe both. Probably both. I've been working on a plan to get the uh, to use the old subway for a while. Even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know the Neko Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who could help us infiltrate them. I don't know what his name. He's the robot in the bomber jacket with the gold chain. Take this message to him. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing. Don't hesitate to ask for help. The city is full of information. Just be clear of the st stay clear of the sentinels. Clementine, I'm I'm finding a lack of stuff I can destroy in your home, and it's making me sad. As a cat, my only my only desire in the world is the destruction of your property. Um, and unfortunately, all these carpet seem to be impervious to my claws. I I'm not going to ask about the mannequin over your bathtub. With the cone? But I mean, you do you. You try building your own version of you. I bet everyone would want one. A guy wearing a bomber jacket with a gold chain. Hmm, nope, that doesn't ring a bell, sorry. You're useless to me. What was your name? Muka? You're useless to me, Muka. Okay. So bear with me, chat. I need to grab myself a new drink, and this seems like the perfect place to take a two-second thing to do that. So I'll be right back in just a minute. No drink, only crimes. It's also getting to that point that I'm probably going to have to step away for just a couple minutes to grab my dinner. Um, I do stream for 11 hours a day, and so at some point I have to stop and just grab my food. Um, it has been in the slow cooker this whole time, so it shouldn't take too long. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to turn our music on. Um, thank you the follow, uh, Slick Subversive. Welcome to the stream. What I do you think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the music we normally play on stream, put words on stream up for a little bit while I run downstairs, grab my dinner. It'll only be like three, four, five minutes, something like that. Um, and then we'll get back. We'll pick up right where we left off here. So thank you everyone who's been tuning in, who's been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing, doing the bits, host, donors, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. I am going to go ahead and get that going. Um, no, we got the window out of the game. Ah, oh, yeah, that's lovely. The way that happened. Um, but give me two seconds to get words on stream going.
because, like I said, this is the thing that I do almost every single stream, because I do stream for 11 hours. At some point, I do have to eat. Uh, so just step away for like five minutes or so, grab my food, bring it back up, then get going. Uh, so just give me two seconds. I have to set it to autoplay and hit start, and then we should be good to go. Um, for those who don't know words on stream, it's a way that the chat can interact um, while I'm away having something to do. Okay, so what happens is I start. And you can just guess words by typing in a chat. So let's see. So I have like a word like Pete. You just type it in and accept it. Um, and the one thing to catch that a lot of people don't notice is you notice that bar in the middle of the screen that's slowly going down. You can only correctly guess one word per each of those locks per person. So if it seems like you're entering words and it's just not accepting it, there's a good chance you've guessed too many times in that lock correctly and you just got to wait. Um, anyways, you'll probably want to play because if you don't, then you just get game over. So that's no fun. Anyways, I'm going to quickly run down, grab my food, and I'll be right back up. And we'll pick up where we left off in uh, Stray. Anyways, thank you, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Okay, and I am back, and basically what we'll do is we'll go until a game over happens, and when a game over happens, we'll get right back into the game. Um, so I'm going to eat my food in the meantime, but yeah. Uh, level 7, I th think? is either 7 or 9 that we get the, um, the fake letter. But yeah, and so kind of the way it works is um, you'll get a fake letter. Yeah, so one of these letters isn't actually available. Let's see. It's the Z, probably. Yeah, it's the Z. So yeah, so the Z isn't actually an option. Um, and when you get a little bit farther, what'll end up happening is there'll be one of the tiles will be a question mark, so there'll be a letter there that we don't know. Um, and if we do manage to get far enough, eventually it'll stop showing the guesses as well, and that's when usually things just fall apart. Um, the record of what we pulled off is we have gotten to level 22 as the absolute highest we've gotten. Usually it's around, I think it's like level 13 or 14 or something like that, where the the, the guesses disappear. Um, and usually everything just goes downhill the moment that happens. All right, well, I'm going to eat my food real fast uh, while this is going on. Oh, and the words in the bottom are in alphabetical order. Uh, so it's probably going to be something that starts with L, probably an O. I just don't know what it is. Skip three. Yep. Well, and that's the other thing. If people want to get through this to get back to Stray Fast, actually, if you're trying to get to the game over as fast as possible, it kind of behooves you to play really well early and then just back off. Go ahead and first, but Tomb took your word. Good. Make me proud, Tomb. She's like, oh god, the pressure. All right, so the L's fake.
Let's see, how did you get pain before me? Um Oh, it goes by when it um when it's received on the um on the actual server side. It's also possible if you guessed correctly twice during a lock, it won't let you like this next guess won't go. So each of those locks you see disappearing, you can only do one correct guess per lock. Um, and that's just that way one person doesn't run away with all the guesses, leaving nothing for anyone else. And pretty soon it's going to start getting real rough because we're in the territory now where um, there's going to be a hidden letter that we don't know what is. So it can be a tactic if you don't see words there to just guess a bunch of short words to try and try and figure out what the the um the hidden letter is because you figure out the hidden letter and you share it with people that helps like the whole group get through. But this is usually where things can start getting harder, and then once you get to the point where the guesses themselves are hidden, then it gets really <laughs> terrible. Oh, no, we don't have a hidden letter yet. Alright, I think the C is fake. We'll demolish that level. Hmm. Got one word we're missing. Because if we get the last word, we'll probably go three levels. When I went to the supermarket. De wing. Nice. Alright, we're definitely in hidden letter territory. Gotcha, okay, so the L is fake.
Hmm. Whatever the hidden letter is, absolutely being a problem. It's an O. Well, that's not good. Well, that's probably going to be us getting back to Stray then. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything switched back over. And we'll kill art music because we'll get back to the game. Not clicked in the window. All right. So we were looking for a person in a bomber jacket with a gold chain up. Oh. What's that noise? I oiled up all the bearings last month. Everything there is a season. Um, didn't you ever listen to the birds? So many boxes to play in. Why do I have this bad feeling with how these boxes are seem to be strategically placed? We're gonna piss off the sentinels and then I'm gonna have to hide in the boxes from the sentinels, I'm assuming. That is that is my guess. All right, so bomber jacket and a gold chain. No gold chain. I tried downloading an aimbot to be the best of the game, but I ended up being malware. I'm not sure why, but everything seems odd now. I mastered every game that ever existed, but I can't figure out how this one works. Am I not seeing the whole picture here? You mean, wool? Oh yeah, that's happening. No nice things for everyone, for we are cats. This guy in the back absolutely well lubed, if you know what I mean. Um, only a big crash in the head could wake him up. Well, it be today, little sir. Our world must seem gigantic from your eye little eyes. I wish you could be as tiny as you so I could explore new hidden places. Drink responsibly, little one. Now like this guy in the back room. What a pity. Can I not talk to you? All right, never mind. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't know why we did that, but we did.
Yep, really don't know why we did that. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing this. I can only let guess that the guy out there doesn't let us in otherwise. Excellent. Nobody came to the shop while it's re being restocked. And seeing how incompetent those two are, it might be a while. I don't know why I want to be in the shop. It might be a thing that we want later and just, you know, we're here for the moment. It could also simply be for like doing all the things. That um, I need to get in here for scratching the floor. Either way, we've got this open now. They turned the shop in Midtown, but the shopkeeper is pretty grumpy. Be one of those young punks listening to loud music all day. Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for credit. Well, I was wondering the same thing. That's the thing about your shop, shopkeeper. I hate it too, shopkeeper. I wasn't expecting that for the music. I'm sure someone is supposed to discover, but my god, that was loud. Where I talk to him, talk to them. We've already been back there. We've been in there. We've already talked to her. And we destroyed security cameras for that. Oh, yeah, I can't get into those places yet. The person arrested was not Clementine. Continue the search. Can I, like, take back having that awful music? I'm sorry, chat. I have to do this anything important here. Please. I don't know why I stole the jacket, but 
It gave me the option, so I did. Man, you take a long time to, uh... It's much better music. I don't even want to touch the button there because I'm worried it'll change to something awful. Ouch, huh? What's that weird feeling? You know, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. Okay, so we're looking for a person in a bomber jacket with a gold chain. I'm busy. What do you want? Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the outs... my contact. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. battery is powering the Neko Necocorp factory right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Here's the idea. You get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here and check out, check for a good time to enter. Well, I have the jacket, so I need to find a helmet. Gloves closed, get lost. <laughs> Announcement, if you're looking for some company to talk to about poetry, I live behind the elevator, Bonobot. So they don't have helmets there, and there wasn't another route, route into the club that I could see. You like my outfit? It's important for security. I got it from the clothes shop and the hats shop. But I doubt they have your size, little one. Okay, so I need a hat shot. There, that's the clothes shop. deal with theft wouldn't we be dealing with theft right now yeah so you stole the work outfit okay so the hat shop I'm assuming is a separate place That's what we're trying to get into, I suspect. That's a restaurant. Oh, this is the hat shop. I see. Okay. So we were here to steal a hat is what's going on.
Now is it back here? Wait just no way. To hell with the sentinels. Long lives the outsiders. Cool. I guess can't do anything at that window. <laughs> Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet so we can get in. Perfect, the jacket is exactly what we need. I still need a worker helmet though. Can you find one of those? Excellent. This helmet will do the trick. I'll get dressed now. Am I turning around? These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Okay, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. And I see they have more of the gold chain, that way you know you can identify him from the others. Is great security. I think only the Sentinels care. All right. The so simple enough. It goes. When well, it starts to go left, I hop out. Okay, so you just turn back and forth. Um, so the Sentinels are bad time. Their, their apparent strategy is, I found someone I don't like, shoot it. Hey, hey, Crashbins, how's it going? Don't shoot the kitty. Kitty prefers to be in a not shot state. All right, so we got the barrels side by side there. So you go over that corner, you turn, then you look this way, the moment you stop looking over here. Hey robot, how's it going? Hey, good thing you're here. Uh, you can help me. 
I lost my keys to the place in this dark, huge factory. The Sentinels refused to help me. They told me, if no place to go, more work here. If by any chance you can help me get them, I'd be eternally grateful. I assume if I get aggroed from the Sentinel, I can actually run to those boxes. Oh, there we go. See nothing. We're all cool, okay? Before we do that, all right, so that's back where they are. So you got, oh, you got a bunch of buttons. to get all three of these at the same time. Can 
I get the barrel? Cooperate with me in any way. Oh yeah, I can. Um, so what I want to do? I want the one that lowers it. Okay, so this isn't a timing thing. Oh, hey. Over here, robot. Okay. Oh wait, I don't need to do anything that fancy. Just roll us across to here. Got it. Quick, let's get out of here before the Sentinels show up. We've got to get this battery back to Clementine. Well, I was expecting some, like, big escape thing where I had to dodge between the Sentinels real fast. Okay. We need to go to the residence. You can steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. Then it makes sense if we can't dance. Hey. You think you can stop us from hanging in our digs? Do you think the criminal is eyeing my collective uh, vintage cards? All of this work for nothing. Remain calm, SERP operation ongoing. Oh, I did not focus on the pattern before we went in there. When we saw all these boxes, I could. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second, wait a second. Hey, 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 hey. It's fine. Don't worry about it, buddy. Me in the box? Me in the box? I can't tell him in the box.
Could you, uh... Could you take that someplace else, please? Okay. Okay. I just now noticed I actually get the pins that, like, they're actually on the cat. That's cool. Well, I think this is just a thing to find the sleeping spot. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're going to have to play a detective to figure out what happened in this book. For B12 and the cat. Ant, the answer lies in my stuff. And there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. Okay, so we saw the one upstairs. Alright. This is number four. Found something? Hmm. I don't say anything. Are you sure? No, I'm, I want the lava lamp. Huh. Why don't they have an apartment? Is this the way companions here see humans? Uh, as well, it says the average speed light. When the U.S. is for wait, the average speed limit, sorry, is it 45 minutes, 45 miles per hour. The average speed a car can easily go twice that. In the grocery store is 2.12 miles away from the house. Calculate why my dad has been gone for milk for 25 years. No need for that. <laughs> kind of funny. Look, something's left here. It says, come to... You found something? Hmm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? Okay, so we've got a bunch of false hints. This is another one. The gem in the medium value, low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful? Bingo. It says... All right, so it's come to like the blazer person. I said we can detect harmless chem chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't react, or they can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's a message hidden under the container. It says, I'm with... So it's, I'm with the guy in the gold bla like, with gold blazer, but I'm assuming I have to find the last message. Which was a lava lamp, was the icon I saw. Which I didn't notice before, but she has quite a few... Oh, it's that lava lamp. Which isn't a lava lamp, it's LEDs. 
I have no idea what this is, but school is kind of memorizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice the message here. It reads, okay. They're at the nightclub. I'm with the I'm with Blazer. Come to the nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find her. We don't have much time. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, and the nightclub was over here. I hate this club. It's full of posers, but at least there's no sentinels there. I don't think the bouncer's gonna let us in. Hey guys, I'm gonna have to climb at the back again. I don't think the bottom let us in. Now for you. Go away. So that's what we're trying to get to. I work hard to keep things clean, clean, only for others to mess it up again. Anyway, that's how the world works. Give me an icon that I, you know, supposedly could interact with you, but I can't quite get the point where I can interact with you. Thanks. How did you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. You like your mask? I made it myself. It jams the central scans and it looks cool. This club sucks. When I tried to go to the stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me. Can you believe that? So, I stole this lever just for kicks. If you give me a drink, I'll give you a silly letter. I don't need it. I just don't want to get caught with it. Give it to the left, give it to the right. Beep boop, sweep soup. Called the Zegma Dance. Cool. I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one who programs the holograms in his spare time. Hey, customer, access the VIP balcony is closed. It's a private biz going on there. It's been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Hello again, dear customer. I had several complaints, so no, we can't disable the hollow dancers because some idiot thought it'd be funny to steal the lever handle. Anyways, you want a drink or something? I 
All right, so per the usual, we gotta find our way up higher. Hey everybody, DJ MacD here. Let's get this party started. The first song has been requested by our very own questionable friend, Blazer. I must scratch the record. Allow me to scratch the record, sir. Why will you not let me do this? I'll be back to destroy that record. I'm assuming you're in the way. And I need you to move. Alright, so how do we get to the balcony? I wanted to go up, but I'll take that as well, I guess. When I was human, my friends would gather and party long into the night, even though we'd suffer annoying consequences the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions became more and more squalid and the capitalistic greed of companies like Neko Corp. The police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why I we were doing that. Oh, is that literally all it's down here? There. the lever. Oh, you found it. Put it back where it belongs, please. Uh, okay. Um... It's not in the stands there. Not back here that I'm seeing. There you go. I see. Basically, I need to get him away so I can scratch the record. Missing something. Oh, 
My, my assumption was maybe I have to get rid of him too. Like get the music to stop kind of thing. Missing levers preventing us from reaching the upper level. Do you think it's a club? Oh. Do those? Oh, I see. No, no, sir, sir. Hang on, hang on. Don't do it, don't do it. There we go. I misunderstood the situation. Is he's in Midtown now? Is a good idea. Oh, I see. So we gotta figure out the patterns that allows me to get there. I think that might be doable. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain about them so much. Can I scratch anything here? This place seems entirely too nice to not be destroyed. stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. <laughs> business is money. And I value money way more than our friendship or com camaraderie. They're all yours. That implies that we just died. But obviously, it was scripted. I didn't get a chance to, like, dodge or something. Why am I in a box over questionable water? Questions. Why would they do that? Jail.
You seem to be having a bad day. Up. Oh, interesting approach to the camera. Giving me a wide view that there is bad things over there. Assembles the Bond villains. I had to know if we could uh, agitate it. Okay there, Sentinel. You seem you seem to be having some difficulty there, buddy. I, uh, I think I made the Sentinel, um, I don't think it's doing too good right now. Not there. Oh, we don't have a robot. I only now notice that. So we don't understand each other at all. Now we have the powers of a regular cat. can't understand you so I'm just gonna keep going without you we'll figure it out as we go hmm that's our little robot friend down in the middle on the bottom We already noticed it. Thank you for making sure I noticed it. But we have already noticed it.
better not have taken my pins. Oh, let me go faster. Clearly something happens here. Go away! Let me go! Don't shoot the kitty. Shooting the kitty is mean. Come on. Why would you why would you design your defenses like this? Are you gonna go flying over here? Is that what happens? Yes you do. Like what what is what is the point of that? Okay, so we've got two that swivel and one that's moving around. Okay, the one that swivels over there is keeping an eye on the drone. Alright, let's reassess where we are and where we're trying to go. I think we're trying to go where that one on the left is trying to watch. Oh. Stop, stop. I was not expecting one to be inside the hallway there when I went for it. Okay, now you're just changing your pattern, I guess? That's deeply concerning.
You can turn around now. Oh, you, you. Oh, I see. I stay above it. Pound sign clawed to death. We should. I feel like it's trapped in my lab's computer system again. All alone. But you came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I'm so glad we're all together again. But we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open this door? For the story to have meaning, someone's going to die. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's the drone. It's probably the drone. Let's be real, it's going to be the drone. smash the lock with it or the window that's I mean, I said window, I didn't realize we're tying the window above. Imagine the main conflict of the story was that there is a box you weren't allowed to sit inside of. Don't, don't do this. We don't need that in our life. What would even be the point of existence? The sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and then lock them in. You see that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. Can you see me in the grass? This recovery center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear. Lucid. I am an exemplary citizen now. Cool. Oh, I thought it was a barrel I could go inside of. Alright, so I'm supposed to run in here. Okay. Hey, robot. This is where all the cool stuff's happening, buddy. This poor fellow. It seems the Sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I fear. They've completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. 
With all the platform you do in this game, they should have named it Prince of Persia. I see what you did there. I didn't think this through the whole way. No, that's not what I want. You're supposed to be in there. I can only serpentine so long. <laughs> Can you not see me in the grass? Nope, you can see me in the grass. Oh, come on. King robot. Okay. I think the security guard right here. Well, we'll do unlocking the sentinel. We gotta take the power back. Uh, what you did, uh, that was funny. Stay alert, we're not clear yet. Something bad is going to happen with us cutting away like this. This door. It's the only way out of this jail. I think we open it from the control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to the roof. Let's look around. The ominous tone. Something's going to happen. Ooh. I like where this is going. We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. How in the back of the truck? You should be able to jump over the fence and access the secure area. Alright. 
I think other than the main memory thing, we're done with memories. Don't leave me here, Clementine. Clementine, no, don't do this. You have no idea I got on that truck. You can't see behind you. There's no rear view mirror. You're just assuming I made it. bouncing you just fell off there's no way we'll make it with the sentinels on our tail i can distract them for a little while you have to go the outsider manifesto says we must go outside at any cost i wrote that you're one of us now it's not that everyone has to get outside but one of us has to go now i'll keep you in my ram little outsider And then she's dead. Now oh, Hat the voice acted. Hat does it himself. Okay. Oh, there's just a giant hole here. I kept trying to look up. Um, where does the key go? One assumes the key goes here. Guessing not, though. Is there a control panel? I hope Clementine's all right. Let's fix the subway and get out of here. Oh right, we got the uh, the battery. I assume. I'm guessing the battery doesn't go up there. It goes down here somewhere. Oh, I can't climb with that. All right, well, never mind. I assume we'll have sentinels now because they'll be alerted by all the noise we made. Or not. So I probably have to open the door first. Or not. Cool.
control room. Hey, Benley, how's it going? All right, so it looks like this place is in near perfect shape. Hello, how may I help you? Okay, so these are the ones that got arrested and clean, had their memory wiped. I'm doing good. Greetings, inhabitant of the Walled City 99. I am currently painting this area. Please be careful of my paint. Have a nice day. Yeah, does that make you feel robot? That's right. Down with the system. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. The door leading to the surface is currently locked due to confinement procedure. Please refer to a cert any certified engineer in the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. How may I help you? Hello, my current task is clean the window. Please refer to I a certified engineer in the control room. If you have any requests, have a nice day. All right, well, the city looks terrible. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says, I'm not considered a human. Hey, that's offensive, security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. I'm guessing I need to get up on that somehow. I'm assuming with the Y we're going to do something to that panel. I, I gotta... Oh, it's one of these things. Hey little robot, I need you over here, buddy. Right here. This is the spot. Um, well, I was expecting to actually be able to use the Y button here, but it's not, it's not highlighting. Okay, am I missing something? Let's see, is there anything else around here we can interact with? Not seeing anything else. Hmm. Right? 
Let's see, if I were to move the robot, is there anywhere else it can get me useful? Uh, do you want a hint? Not yet, I don't think. Like, I suspect there'd be a way to interact with these cleaning robots, like make a mess to cause one of them to do something. Not seeing an opportunity to do that, though. Oh, you know what? I bet you I have to actually tell him to get off the table. Like a real cat, can't get it off the furniture. We've been practicing our whole life for this moment. Yeah. Control room for the entire city. Controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought we were above it all. They were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can go outside. Together. Maybe trying at someone until they pet you, and then bite them after two seconds. Yep. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. This is the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in lockdown cycle a long time ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. You'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While, I, while you do that, I'll look at the passwords and encryption keys to get into the system. Ah, uh, yes. Um, turning on computers is something I can totally do. Actually, apparently I can. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. There. That's a workstation to open the city. But there's several layers of security preventing us from using it. We need to do what we, we do best. Me? I'll hack the machines. You go destroy some stuff. Music to my ears. More stuff to scratch.
This is how you go. It's like, we need to hack this. All right, cat. Just start cutting things. Um, the system is taking more than I expected. I was say, there's no way they just let me walk around here with no... Oh no, we gotta keep going. seeing anything here that I can break. Oh, I see. I break a panel, then I try and hack it. It can't be good. Oh. Don't worry. I can recharge once we open the workstation. Open that workstation. Let me guess. He dies. Because he's talked about he was afraid of like what death might mean for him and all that. A whole lot during the game. I think this little body is done for. It's okay. I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable the alarm. Probably this one. That's it. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the system's central computer would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with security now disabled, I can take over the computer system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software, but I made a choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry, we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry the memories of humanity to hold on to the past, but I see the future and the companions in you. Here, let me take that off of you. Hey, those are my badges. I demand you give that back. You were my friend, the very best you could have asked for. You took my badges. I earned those. I should be sad right now, but I'm just really offended that you'd take that. Goodbye, humanity. Yeah. Robot friend died. With how old all this is, what are the chances of that thing actually working? Pretty good at all the robot people maintaining things. Maybe. I mean, below hand, they weren't maintaining anything. They were keeping the room spotless. This is fair.
I was going to pick up Robot Friend and bring it with us. Neat. I'm assuming, like, not all of this actually... Well, maybe it did. Yeah, so that's Midtown up there. That's the slums down there. It gives you a weird sense of vertigo watching at this angle. Like, it feels like the root, like, the room is stretching or whatever when it's doing that, and it's just because the way the those ceiling panels are moving with the light. Because I need to play this game again. So another question is, how do they get out? I assume, I assume that big column over there is an elevator? Yeah, it's probably an elevator up from there to there. You go up there to there. You can quite go out, though. I wanted to pick up Robot Friend. I apparently you don't talk to me. For some reason it's not as clean out here. Interesting I'm still controlling it that way. Just vibe into the sun. achievement eye opener so that was absolutely an excellent game i'd heard nothing but good things about it um the robot dying at the end was not particularly surprising but especially how much he was like i wonder what death is like you know what would it be like to die all i'm like all right okay come on man or shadow much yeah <laughs> Cats do love the sun. Oh yeah, they do. Man, that was, um... And I can imagine with the hidden stuff, there's probably tons of exploration, because we got about two-thirds or a little bit over, maybe two-thirds to three-quarter of the, um, the memories. Um, and I know for a fact we were missing, in the first act, one of the, um... One of the energy drinks, and I'm assuming we would get that random thing, and that random thing would trigger a memory, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for playing through. Thank you for the bitty. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fun. Um, I don't know what we're doing on stream tomorrow, because I had kind of planned, because I didn't know how long the game was. People said, yeah, about one, one and a half streams would be probably enough. Um, and we're about... 
a little over halfway through one stream that we finished the story. I'm assuming once this is done, we'll get either like not a chapter select or something, or they'll let me go back into the world and run around. Or maybe not. But, um... So we can potentially look for some of those memories we missed. Which, that's the kind of thing I don't... I don't think I'll mind hints on that particular one. Um... Because, for me playing the game on my own, I would... Obviously, I wouldn't want hints. I wouldn't look up a guide and explore. But, um, when you're streaming that kind of thing, just watching the person run through the same area again and again and again, trying to find the thing they're missing... Um, that's not particularly good. All the cats involved. And three of them were rest in peace. There's apparently four dogs. I don't remember seeing a dog in the game. I mean, we didn't see any dogs or cats. Or that was just probably the cats and dogs owned by people who were developing the game. The slums me were a bit of a maze. Yeah. The slums was wandering around a lot. Man, it feels hot. Give me a moment, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my AC. But the cat was adorable. We broke many things, as is appropriate. And he says, it is actually fun. You're watching the same guy missing something again and again. It can be. It can be hit and miss depending on, on what it is. Yeah, so I know we we're missing a can in the first section. Probably a memory or two as well, I would imagine. 